Hey guys, so it's Tuesday after the snowstorm. As you can see behind me, everything's pretty much melted, except for down in the woods. It's still pretty covered there, so the snow hasn't had a chance to be exposed to the sun. Um, the noise you hear is the wood chipper. Brandon had to order a new battery and a carburetor for it, and he just replaced that. So I was just gonna walk you around and kind of show you what's going on here. Um, we've got a lot of water uh, from all the snow melt, and so our yard's really squishy. Um, we got all the big dogs back outside and got the tiny house all cleaned up because it was as much as we love the animals it was never our intention to have five dogs inside the tiny house so it's nice to have them back outside so they can get some sunshine and fresh air um so i'm gonna flip you around and kind of show you um so this is to the left of the garden that's the garden area over there um so i'm fixing to try to trim up the crepe myrtles a little bit uh, in previous years, I've just trimmed up down around the bottoms because I don't like the way those little shoots come off. But um, you can see the bird feeders. We actually filled them twice. All of these that we have hanging up. We refilled them twice during the snowstorm because the poor little birds just didn't have anything to eat. So you can tell all the little remnants of the loose bird seed. Um, the brand new bag that we had ordered is gone because we filled, we filled this up twice and we threw a lot of loose out on the ground because the birds just didn't have anything to eat. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really wet here. So we're, we're ready for spring. We're gonna work on some projects over the next couple of weeks to try to prepare for the chickens and the chicken coop. But today we're just gonna work a little bit on um, trimming the crepe myrtles up because they haven't been done in a long time and I think it'll just help them be a little prettier when they do bloom out. So stick around and we'll get back to y'all shortly. So I let Brandon take over for a little while. It's pretty heavy and my arms are pretty short. So the plan is, since we kept the wood chipper and Brandon worked on it, any of the trees or limbs that we cut, we're gonna use to make our own shavings for the chickens. Because as most of y'all know, uh, pine or cedar shavings from any feed supply, tractor supply, those are going to run you anywhere from 6 to $10 a bag, depending on the time of year and what store, what brand you're getting them. So we're going to try to offset that cost a little bit. And instead of just burning all of our limbs and trash from the trees, we're going to 
put them in the wood chipper and have our own shavings. So this is just the first tree, uh, the first crepe myrtle tree we're working on. And obviously when we, when it dries up some and you can probably see the snow back there in the woods. Um, so it's going to be a while till that melts and we're going to be able to get back there. But once we do a little more trimming up during the spring, we'll have lots of little limbs and we have, um, we got those new barrels to put the dog and cat food in. So what we're probably going to do, those are food grade. Um, we've already cleaned them out with bleach and Dawn and they've been rinsed out. So before we buy more dog and cat food, when those get empty, we'll put the new dog and cat food in the new food grade barrels and we will use the steel barrels to put our shavings in so they'll stay dry. So, um, as Brennan continues to cut some of the smaller limbs for me, and we're, we're not going to butcher these trees. We, Brennan's grandma and her family planted them, and for the past three or four summers, um, I've been trimming them up around the bottom. So, we're taking pride in this, and we're just going to cut off the dead stuff on the ends and the smaller little shoots so that it'll look good. Um, this summer and this fall when it starts to bloom out. So we're going to work on that for a little while and probably put some more um, suet out for the birds. So that's what we're working on today. We're taking a little break the uh, chipper is a little loud um, so we're gonna take a little break but we've been at it for probably about 30 minutes and we have the first tree trimmed up and about half of the second one and so this is what this one's gonna look like and we probably could have trimmed a little bit more it's not been trimmed in a long time and we'll go back and do the the shoots off the bottom uh, later but we're just trying to let it be a little more healthy um, this is what we've got done so far and it does kind of fill up inside there so uh, you have to use a shovel and kind of clear it out but we're gonna put the shavings in this old um, this is what we used to have our dog food in when we lived in uh, town so we saved that so we're gonna put all the shavings in that um, once we get this cleaned up so probably about 30 minutes worth of work and this is at least one you know eight to ten dollar bag of shavings right here that we've offset the cost just by using um materials that we already had so we didn't burn up the trash from the tree that we cut down and we're going to be saving that to use for the chickens so that's what we're going to keep doing for a while and i'll let y'all know once we get um done how much we were able to put into the can so stick around quick update um the belt is coming apart on the uh shredder so brandon's going to order a new belt and a bag to attach to the bottom to catch the shavings as they come out so that we can easily get them from the shredder, chipper, whatever you want to call it, into um, the storage container. Now, I am standing in front of this beautiful cedar tree that we saved whenever we uh, cleared the land when we moved out here. Um, I had to get out of the sun. So, Brennan's going to order those two parts, and I'm also over here getting one of the uh, empty steel barrels that we have because since I gave the last update, we have already filled that entire uh, metal trash can. So, um, 
we're still working on the trimmings from the first tree so we're definitely going to need another container for now and since we took the ranger to get service today i am going to have to roll this steel barrel over to where we're working because i can't put it in the back of the ranger and move it so anyway just wanted to give you all a quick update that's what's going on right now we're about 45 minutes into today's project um so yeah i'm gonna catch y'all later and get to rolling this steel barrel so we're at the end of our day we had to stop a little earlier than we had planned but as you can see uh, i emptied this well brandon emptied that can into this can so um this is i mean it's almost up to here um which is quite a lot of shavings um he's putting the wood chipper back up and we almost got finished this is what we have left from that tree this tree is pretty much done um so at the end of the day um preventative maintenance goes a long way so he it had been a while since we ran the wood chipper so the fuel had gelled up in it he ordered a new carburetor a new battery and once we started using it today, the belt started to fail. So he's going to order a new belt and the bag attachment so that we can catch the shavings as they're coming out. And it'll be easier to put them into the container that we're using. So um, we've got quite a lot of shavings, saving us some money and using the resources that we have here. I'm not sure how much shavings we're going to need or how often we're going to need to change them. That'll just come whenever we get the chickens. So, um, Brandon's packing everything up now. We're going to get the lid closed on this because it's going to rain um, this weekend. Uh, but this is a, a tight container, so we don't have to worry about those getting wet. So, that's just our update for today. We appreciate y'all watching our videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, because one day we hope to be able to make some money off of this and put it back towards what we're doing, um, which is homesteading and helping our well-being and our state of mind. We just, we want to live a healthier, happier lifestyle. So being out here in the country, breathing the fresh air and listening to the birds and all the other wildlife while we were out here. Um, George, as I call him, the possum, he actually came out of the woods and was eating some of the loose bird seed that we had put down on the ground. So, um, it's nice to just be out in nature and get a little stress relief. So, anyway, we're going to end this video now. So, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button and thanks for supporting us. Y'all have a good one.